Hello everyone, I am Dee Dee from Vibes That Heal and today I'm on here to talk about why women will always seem to hate you more than men. So first things first, if you're a man watching this video, this is not really for you. This is a video for women to understand why they may have a hard time relating to other women, why it always seems like it's a woman out to ruin your life instead of men. So what I notice about women is that when men do certain things to us, we seem to have a belief that it was coming. It was just around the corner that this man was going to do something that we clashed with. But oftentimes women seem shocked when they meet other women who do the same. And so I'm making this video for women who seem genuinely concerned whenever the person standing in their way, whether it's for a job, promotion, love, or anything else that you're passionate about. A lot of women feel like there are other women that stand in their way of happiness versus men are just there to distract them. So I'm going to talk more about that, why it feels like your primary haters that really try to influence your life in a negative way seem to be women. Because obviously women outside of us are mirrors. They can show us our deepest desires. They can show us what we lack, what we want to have. We might be in a terrible relationship and every time we see women who seem happy in their relationships. We feel like for them to have that relationship, they have to take it from us. Now that's one less good guy that I could have met and been happy with. So these are some of the toxic thoughts that swirl in the minds of women's subconscious minds. So I'm gonna start with one thing that constantly trips us up as women and we see this all the time with our other female rivals or women that we're not that close to and we see this in our own friendships as well but I really believe that women have a hard time relating to other women because we naturally have this need to have these intense friendships with other women that ultimately leads to merging okay so I feel like the things that make us women like our need to care for people we're able to put ourselves in another person's shoes we feel very deeply at times and so when we have these friendships if we're not careful we can get swept off our feet in these friendships we feel so close to another woman that we feel like we have a right to know everything about her. That's my best friend, you know, that's what we say. So with women, if we're not careful, we can merge with our friends, which leads to my second point, okay? Because it's all gonna wrap itself around itself in the end. So we tend to merge with our friends, but an interesting thing about women that I don't necessarily see with men is that women will befriend women that they're jealous of and that's where I say as women we have a tendency to befriend women that we envy that we're jealous of that we want to mimic and imitate and things like that so we don't usually acknowledge this because who wants to acknowledge like, hey, I just want to be your best friend because like I hear your mom works for said rich person who's a celebrity. Like no one's doing that. So a lot of times this woman, even though we feel motivated to befriend women that we envy and a lot of us go out into the world and do that. The thing about befriending a woman that you envy and you don't tell her that you envy her, you just become her friend and you envy her silently throughout the friendship. Because I see a lot of women do that. What happens is uh, your envy gets swept underground. And when your envy gets swept into your subconscious mind, it will come out at inappropriate times. You may lash out at your friend one day, you may betray her one day, her boyfriend, might shoot a shot at you one day and any other day you're with 
women camaraderie, but your shadow, the jealousy that you refuse to feel or acknowledge, you end up shooting yourself in the foot, you know, you end up betraying her, sleeping with her best friend, trying to steal her life. Like, this is real stuff that happens when, one, we get into intense friendships with women that we envy and I see this all the time I know everyone's probably watching this like I would never do that but that's that's what I'm talking about right there as women we don't like to look at our shadow side a lot of the times and I get it you know as women we have stuff coming at us from all sides you know we need to be we need to look good we need to be smart we need to become mothers we need to just do it all we need to do it all while looking good protecting ourselves, being smart. We just have to wear so many hats. And what happens is that when we can't keep up, and other women can, whether they were just lucky, born with a, a silver spoon, a gold spoon in their mouth, whether they had the support or not, what happens is that we ultimately feel like it's just us who's having a hard time. Ooh.